What's up everybody? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. I am Jess and I am live from the old garage gym. <laughs> um, I was getting up this morning, putting on my workout gear and was like, for the first time in a long time, I have felt my clothes getting looser. Or I should say fitting at this point instead of being stuffed into clothes that don't fit. So it's been, you know, like I'm at that two month mark, a little over two months now. And those changes are starting to become noticeable in my clothes. And it's a wonderful feeling. So it's inspiring. I like wearing, you know, workout gear. I don't like looking like a stuffed sausage casing in the workout gear. So um, it's just a really good feeling to see the results, feel them, and know that I'm making that uh, momentum again. So I'm in the garage currently because I'm going to be doing uh, my workout, my normal workout routine. I like to do strength training. Um, it doesn't matter what you do as long as you're moving your body. My approach is I like to have the more strong and lean look versus a skinny fat, I guess is the other version. I would rather weigh a little bit more but have mus muscles and my flexibility and mobility and you know just overall fitness level um, be my priority then versus being just a number on the scale. So yeah, I could weigh a lot less than what I my goals set out to be, but I don't want to, I don't that's not the look I'm going for. So at the end of the day, you have to follow what makes sense to you. Um, for me, I would rather weigh more and look strong and fit than um, weigh less and fit into a smaller size clothes or something because personally I don't like the jiggle I like to be nice and tight so um, that's my personal goals that doesn't mean that it's right or superior to your goals it's just that's what I'm going for and with free weights and strength training and you know the weight bench and all that stuff that is how I've been doing it and that's how I did it in the past and I really liked insert picture here <laughs> the way I looked here so and I want that back it's inspiring and sometimes when you flip through some old photos remember what you did and how your life looked at those moments in time and live that again you know and but you can't have that body or that dream if you don't want to put in the work for it I guess is what I'm trying to say so long story short I am going to get this workout done and stop procrastinating. The weather outside is fantastic. Sorry, the lighting's weird. I'm in my garage, so, and I don't work out with makeup. That's like my two rules. <laughs> uh, but the weather today, mwah, so perfect. Fall. So it just makes my actual workout a lot more enjoyable when it's nice out instead of I'm sweating buckets <laughs> before I even start the workout. So, but anyways, I'm going to get this done, sip on my electrolytes, and then I'll be back for the yummy recipe portion of this video. So I'll see you in a few. And real quick, let me thank the sponsor of today's video, Element Electrolytes. These have been my go-to electrolytes now for a while. Pretty much the only brand of electrolytes I promote on this channel. Um, these ones have amazing taste. They're gluten-free, they're sugar-free, no artificial flavors or fillers or all that stuff. They're perfect for people on a keto or low carb lifestyle because as you'll see coming up in this video, I am going to get my sweat on. <laughs> and when you're sweating like that, you need to replenish those electrolytes. And sipping on them throughout the workout, I feel I just have lots of power, lots of energy, and I can focus on the workout, not you know, feeling yucky or something like that. Each packet of electrolytes comes with a science back ratio of electrolytes and you're getting 1000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium in each packet. My favorite flavor is watermelon salt with probably the second favorite would be the raspberry salt. I also really love the citrus salt. <laughs> Kyle's a big fan of the orange, but you know what? Don't take our word for it using my special link. This promo is only available through me, but you can use it as many times as you want. And you can get this free sample pack of eight unique flavors for free with any purchase from element.com. So big thank you to Element for sponsoring this video. Now let's go get that workout in. So I am 
already <laughs> sweating and that was only the first exercise of the workout. I like to do either four sets of 10 reps or you could do like a countdown, start with like 12, 10 for the next set, eight for the next six, you know, that type, type of thing. Because as you get further into your repetitions, it starts to get heavier. So that was the way I started off to getting to this point. So I do my best set at 12. And then by the time I was on my last set, there was only two or two or four reps, depending which exercise I had to do. So, um, but either way, um, at this point, the point is just work on your form, get as low as you can, and um, just push yourself. So I've now switched to four sets of 10 reps, and that's where I'm at right now, and it's just, it's working for me. So, but anyways, there's a lot of sweat, <laughs> even though it was just one exercise. Um, so next, I'm going to move to the front squats. And I'm also going to do four sets of 10. So anyways, I will be back. Like infinite power. God knows I try to resist. But you're pulling me closer. Oh, I've got to stay away. But you won't let me. No one makes me feel like you do. When no one... Okay, so <laughs> I just did 40 more reps of, or in total of um, front squats. Now, one thing about all of the leg day, um, one of the cool things about squats, lunges, RDLs, uh, like all those exercises, they engage your core. <laughs> this is part of the exercise. It's not just the legs. So it really will help trim that belly fat, <laughs> get you that waistline you're looking for, and it feels good. So not only does my legs feel on fire, but my core is on fire too. And that's a good thing. So, um, so don't discredit or discount, um, my eyebrows sweating, uh, the lower body workouts. Um, I've always been somebody that's a fan of upper body workouts. I love doing arms, shoulders, backs. I'm starting to fall in love with the lower body workouts. My recovery time between workout days of like lower body used to take like three days to recover now i am healed up by the time it's leg day again um, but that's just because i've stuck to it i keep working at it every day and i'm getting stronger so anyways i in case you're wondering you can get a good sweat out of lifting weights you don't have to always get cardio to get a good sweat i mean my elbow is even dripping over here so um now it is time for rdls Okay, so Romanian deadlifts or RDLs are done. Woo. Feel it. Now with the RDLs, you should feel well, the, the part I like most about the RDLs is the flexibility and the strength side to side of my leg, if that makes sense, got stronger because you have to keep your balance as you're going down with the weight, leg going back, and it's a real, your leg it wants to just wobble, so it helps strengthen that leg so it stays straight with a slight bend to it, but so you're not moving all over the place. That's a nice... Uh, I forget what they call that. There's a word for it. Comment below. But like the overall movement in the leg side to side, it strengthens that. So and in addition to giving good flexibility, I feel it all the way up the back of my leg, specifically hamstring and the front of leg quads. And now sweating hard. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's all sweat. Um, so the next thing is a fly in here. And oh, man, my neck is sweating now. Huh? I have to go in the sun to see that. But I have two exercises. There you go. I have two exercises left. Um, and then I'm done. So the next one is step ups. Going to step on that weight bench, um, 10 reps each leg, four sets. So 40 total reps. And this one burns your quad. <laughs> but I want a nice solid... You know, I have a lot of inner thigh fat, a lot of 
chunkage, a lot of cellulite, there's a fly in here, in my thighs, and I am working on getting that looking nice and strong. So let me put the phone down, I'll give you a demonstration, and I'll be back after 40 reps. <laughs> And yeah, if you're curious if you could get a good sweat, definitely. Okay, so at this point, we are switching gears. The last workout of the day. So this one is going to do hamstring curls. I have just a resistance band on here to act like the machine you would see at the gym. I gotta just put them a little closer. But I just wanted to say real quick before I finished out this portion of the video, I didn't need to use any of this stuff yet yes i have the weight bench i've got you know this kind i got all the slam balls and you know kettlebells pulleys you know you name it i've got all that stuff but i haven't needed to use most of that to get this workout done like this is a real great starting point of just using old body weight old-fashioned body weight and a couple dumbbells that you could use milk jugs or something like that the laundry detergent jug something like that filled with water so you don't need any fancy equipment. I'm two months in and I've only really used the bench for um, arm day kind of more, but like for a lower body workout, you don't need any of this stuff. So body weight exercises are just as good. So anyways, let's get these hamstring curls going and uh, finish out this portion of the video. Oh, no, dinner time and I'm gonna make a real easy recipe I'm gonna link it down below it's from I think eatwell.com I just made just a few changes just to make it more uh, like what how I want it main thing is the recipe calls for asparagus I'm swapping that with Brussels sprouts because that's what I have on hand and um, instead of using hot sauce I'm gonna use a uh, a Hilo, Wahilo sauce. <laughs> this is the sauce. I just buy it at my local grocery store. Um, you can just use plain old hot sauce or sriracha in the that portion, but I diced up ahead of time three pounds of chicken breast, and because my kids don't like things super spicy, I'm going to be making this recipe essentially for them or that marinade. Um, so two pounds will go towards that recipe, and then one pound will go towards just using the this as a marinade. So I have three total pounds of chicken. My main marinade, which is the lemon butter sauce, will go on the bigger, so like two pounds, and then the one pound I'm gonna make just for Kyle and I, that is the wahila and red jalapeno sauce. So this one, I'm just gonna zero out the scale. I'm going to just open up my sauce here. I apologize for the background noise. My lawn is getting mowed. So I'm gonna look for two ounces or two tablespoons. Add half out. All right. Let me see what one one ounce looks like first, or one tablespoon. Okay, so I ended up using just one ounce 
of the Wajila sauce. And when you're working with hot sauce, less is more because <laughs> as you eat, the flavor keeps going. But some of the heat will go away when I cook it. So keep that in mind. But I'm going to put this marinade in here and uh, I'll be back when I'm more at that point. All right. So at this point, we're going to just pop these in the fridge and I'll be back when it's time to cook them. Okay, so I just have my scale here. I'm going to measure out 500 grams, just to kind of overestimate a little bit. Actually, we're going to stop right there. <laughs> That's perfect. So I'm going to cut those up and I'll be back. Okay, so we ended up with around 300 and. 82-ish grams after I cut the stems off and halved, halved <laughs> the Brussels sprouts. So at this point now, I'm just going to put the avocado oil, salt, and pepper. All right, so I did salt, pepper, garlic, and four tablespoons of avocado oil. And then I'm using my hands just to make sure everything gets coated evenly. And these are going right into the oven. And then you want to lay them all flat and they're good to go. So my kids just came downstairs and pretty much begged for some kale, roasted kale with dinner tonight. So, hey, what kid, how many kids do you know ask for kale? So, <laughs> so I have a tray of kale and we're gonna do the same thing, adding some avocado oil, a little bit less oil to the kale this time because it doesn't take as much. So about two tablespoons, maybe three, I'll fill it out of avocado oil and then salt and pepper and then mis like massage the oil all into the leaves and throw it in the oven too however this is only going to take about 10 minutes at 400 degrees all right so i'll be back okay so at this point i'm going to just put my chicken that has been marinating in that delicious butter lemon sauce and cook it all right it's just about done i'm going to remove it from the pan and then cook up the second batch Brussels sprouts are done and perfect. And now I, when I put the second batch in, I'll start the kale. And here is just the Rahila sauce on the chicken. So this is an experiment. <laughs> I may spray a little bit of avocado oil on it if it gets dry, but we'll see. All right, and here we have the finished product. I did around six ounces of the just plain Wahila lemon chicken and then two ounces of the Wahila chicken and all of the Brussels sprouts. So that is dinner tonight. Thanks to Element for sponsoring this video.